we've talked a lot in lots of different directions. Whoops. Um, and I've had my, uh, my phone's been buzzing with questions um, that people would like to ask you. Yeah, just before we do that, remember yes. I was having trouble remembering? Oh, yes. And uh, the bands, the chats. Yeah, I love the chats. And listen, I just want to say something else. I really love uh, Rolling Blackouts, Coastal Fever. I'm a huge fan of those young men. Uh, it's a really, really great band. Yeah. And they're very popular here in Perth. Whenever they play, it's always a sold out show. Yeah, yeah. I bet, I bet so. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Go um, on. Questions. Okay, so questions. Um, I gather from the chats that we've been having, you know, drumming is what you're doing at the moment. You're really focused. Mm hmm. Um, you're going forward working with different people. Have you ever thought about doing a repeat of what you did in uh, 2018 where you had a little bit of a go-betweens revival? Are you thinking that you might ever do that again? Is that completely off the cards? Um, Just so ha that, I have to ask you because I've had yeah. like 20 people message me. So that was the 16 Lovers Lane show where we had... In fact, that's where Rob and I uh, reformed our friendship. Uh, well, f it formed our friendship because Rob was one of the singers. We, uh, 16 Lovers Lane album, we reproduced the 16 Lovers Lane uh, album on stage with different singers. Uh, I would love to do that with Tallulah. I think that would just be fantastic and having Robert Vickers on stage. Robert Forster would not do it and uh, we did ask him, um, and it, but he has n no interest in that whatsoever. And um, But you need a festival to finance that uh, that's that's what you need, and uh, you know I can only hope that at some stage that that might happen. That would be perfect. I love, I mean, I love all the six albums I played on, but uh, to do Tallulah, which was when Amanda Brown formed, and have Robert Vickers playing, I call, think it's the classic period. So, if uh, Festival Perth, you're listening, that's a pretty major hint there. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to see a few of your albums being done because obviously, you know, Sixteen's Lovers Lane was done over east. We didn't get to have any of that here. Mm. So maybe a couple of albums. I mean, I'm not saying you should be like Sparks and do 21 albums over 21 nights. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad idea. It's really not a bad idea. We could we could do, you know, Before Hollywood, Liberty, Bell and Tallulah. Yeah, I like all those. Yeah, that, my, phone, my phone is just going nuts. <laughs> um, look, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. I'm conscious that you have a sound check in half an hour. Yeah. Um, we didn't get actually to play Tracy's latest song, so we'll, we'll leave the interview with that. Um, thank you so much for coming in. Oh, I, can I just uh, do yeah. a cheerio to a friend of mine of who, who is a huge fan of this show? His name's Stripe. And hey, so I'm just a uh, cheerio to Stripe and I, he can't believe I'm actually on this show. <laughs> I don't think any of us in the team actually are. So thank you so much for your time. It's been such a pleasure to well, meet thanks. you. Thanks for asking me. Um, and uh, if you wanted to go tonight to Lyric Lane, you know that you can't, but you can start queuing up outside from Animal Arts Centre now. It's not too cold, so you won't need too many sleeping bags um, because I'm sure it's going to be a marvellous show. Uh, I think we're playing at two in the afternoon, everyone. We're doing two sets, so uh, it'll be going right through to four. But uh, it would be lovely to see you there. It's, it was incredibly great that that was added to our tour. Yep. You're listening to Drastic on Plastic here on RTRFM. 92.1, I'm going to go and have a large gin now.